right side. Light this bitch up. I don't know about you, but all my life I definitely wasted too much time watching cartoons as a kid. And since I'm older now, it kind of turned into watching too many cartoons and anime. So I was thinking, hey, if I waste too much time watching them, I might as well make a video on them. So here's some characters that I personally think are good to the video. Let's go. The first character on this list is actually the reason I wanted to make this video in the first place. Dipper Pines. And in my opinion, Dipper Pines is one of the most underrated characters. He basically saved his whole town with one little book. Like, all this guy had to do was read, and he could just fight off a demon like that. I was just recently re-watching the show, which by itself the show is pretty goaded. But... It made me realize this guy has helped save so many people and all they did was try to turn around and make fun of him. They'll say stuff about how awkward he is or pick on him because he's one centimeter shorter than his sister or because his voice cracks. Like, first of all, those are all things that are regular for a 12 year old boy, but also the fact that he's skinny and pretty wimpy, like he doesn't really have any muscle, yet he still takes out these monsters constantly like it's nothing, he's definitely an incredible character. The next on my list is Nicole Watterson from The Amazing World of Gumball. Now, this just so happens to be my favorite character and from my favorite show, so I have a bit of a bias but she still definitely deserves to be on this list in almost every single episode you see her either whip somebody effortlessly or make people do what she wants just by looking them in the eye she really doesn't get what she deserves in my opinion in the show though because i just don't understand how such a strong intelligent godly character could marry such a ugly stupid lazy gluttonous thing he eats so many cheeseburgers he's basically built like one at this point i mean he eats so much i consider him more of a vacuum cleaner than character and i guess that they explain in an episode why they're good together but i will always believe wholeheartedly that she can do better than the cartoon version of Nikocado Avocado. Okay, the next character on my list is Shinobu. She was personally my favorite character on Demon Slayer. And no, it's not because I'm a simp or whatever, but more so because the motivation she has as a character. I'm pretty sure in her backstory somewhere it said her sister was murdered by a demon. And instead of being sad over it, she chose to take it as motivation to become one of the best Demon Slayers. Now, I haven't watched Demon Slayer in a long time, so I'm not really caught up. And I'm sure that there's other characters that have proven to be better by her. But one thing that I really like about her, as opposed to everybody else on Demon Slayer, is something similar to Dipper. She basically is like canon to be pretty weak in the show. And instead of letting that hold her back, she just uses more intelligence than physical strength. She replaces her physical strength with putting poison in her sword so then she'll kill the demons easier to replace the weakness that she has and that's just really admirable as a character i really appreciate it when a character recognizes their weaknesses and instead of letting it stop them they replace it with intelligence now we're moving on to one of the most goaded characters on this list kuro sensei out of any character on this list not only is he the most goaded but he definitely has the most character development in the beginning of the show, I was just thinking, this bald-headed, ugly, yellow turret-looking, dirty, overpowered, egotistical, perverted, nasty, grotesque, unhinged alien. But as the show kind of progressed, 
I, I started to kind of grow attachment to him. Like, it's just weird because the entire time you're watching it, you know that he's the bad guy. He's basically the main antagonist of the whole series. But it's so hard to hate him. The entire point of the show is to kill him. And at first, you want that to happen. But as the story progresses, you kind of start to hate it. When I was watching the show, it used to make me so excited seeing them about to kill this guy. But the more and more I watched, the more the thought of him dying kind of made me sad. Like, he did so much to protect these kids' lives and save them anytime he could. And I'm not gonna lie, I, the ending made me kind of sad. The only anime I ever cried for. <laughs> Anyways, those are some characters who I personally think are goaded. If you think I missed anybody, make sure to comment them and I'll make another video with those characters you suggested. But if you agreed with any of these characters, make sure to give it a like and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!